So in this lesson, I'm going to take you through my favorite pitch and the number one invested company in Shark Tank history. It's called Bomba's Socks. Bomba's Socks. All right, so let me explain to you the pitch. Before they came on, Dave and Randy, what they did was they looked at every single episode of Shark Tank and they studied all questions asked and whether they got on Shark Tank or not, that was a great exercise for them to basically understand their business and get a better feel. They studied what every shark wanted. They knew that I did not want to have another clothing company. However, they said if I was about to ask a question or I was about to go out, they would know where to add value to me because maybe all my clothing brands were in retail stores, but they were direct to consumer and they knew that if they give me the ability to learn from them with direct to consumer, maybe I'd apply that to my other clothing brands. They also knew that I was an entrepreneur in residence in Babson where they had went to school so they were able to talk to other people around Babson about my beliefs and my morals and the things that I believe in and they knew that I love to uh, be part of charitable organizations such as Petco where I save pets so they knew that I had a soft spot for doing charitable work. And when we went to the tank we closed the deal and to add to that. They were buttoned up, they were good guys, their demeanor was cool, they lived in New York City and I felt that I could work with them and I can learn from them. What happened there? They basically switched the power from the shark to being somebody who didn't want to invest in clothing companies to wanting to invest in them and they also became the number one brand in Shark Tank history and that is just socks. So imagine, I don't care what idea you have, you can find the shark you want, you can also relay that information to customers because you will have this information on how to be more effective. And that's what the great part of this lesson is. Bombas reflected true value. They had a give back model, so they were caring about somebody. They had okay sales, but that means that they were showing who their customer was and that they found a place, a sensitive place that customers wanted to not only have a great product, which the product is king, but they wanted to make sure that other people benefited off of their uh, money that they spent with this company. Now, a lot of people come on Shark Tank and they don't have value. They're just telling me what they want and it's crazy valuations. And a lot of times when I hear a crazy valuation, there are a couple things that come to mind. Number one, they're bleeding cash left and right and they just need as much money as they can. Or maybe they're just greedy and they couldn't care less about who was on the other side of the table. Or maybe they were just uh, somebody who is not educated and doesn't understand reality of what they really need and they didn't do their homework. The founder mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.